kind of got floated through on in losers finals which is a weird feeling but regardless we're going to be having ike versus bayo now you were saying before how oh bayo combos and look at him drag him all over the place i feel like ike's going to be even worse for that he has a very large frame and not a lot of great get off me tools his defensive options in general are basically does he have enough space to actually swing his sword yeah tejus has has some solid approach options whether it be ground after burner kick or air after burner kick maybe a, a good read on the forward air and those guns too in order to at least create an opening or some nice damage okay i really like this the fact that tejus is basically standing still knows knows that uh hydra is going to be throwing out these neutral airs and instead kind of studying him trying to figure out okay once the neutral air happens what's the next thing i gotta do and already you know we've seen a little bit of a showcase where hydra did a spot dodge but since then actually mm. was able to do uh honestly he's just been getting hit all over the place Sit okay in, in but put him in a force attack but that was good damage there from, from tejus yeah, yeah he's, he's gonna be a moving wall with that nair it's on tejus to punish accordingly whenever they see it or, or at least maneuver or neutral or their yeah. way around it okay i think neutral air i i'm not sure if he's out of range but i think it'll be close oh <laughs> The F to okay, neutral air up air probably won't kill anymore, but I mean, we're at the point where uh, Ike's other moves can kill. So, just dash like that, dash attack. Range. I think he dropped shield. Maybe he was looking for a parry, but absolutely did not get it. Okay. Oh, okay. Get the, the back air is going to catch the end leg. There he goes. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. First back air whips, but second one connects. And now we have. Oh. Punch this. Big punch, too. Oh, okay. No. Not big enough. This is good damage here for Tejus. I really thought earlier that she was going to like duck under the dash attack, but I guess she's close I think I dash attack's a too big. Oh. Though, though. I dash attack is huge. Yeah. Oh, scary situation. Okay. It's the back air. We're not going to kill though. Hike. Hey, Punch them out is. of the up B. There's no armor there. <laughs> yeah, really smart. Because but yeah, by that point there's no armor and it's just a massive hitbox that's also pretty long lasting, that forward smash. So doesn't also didn't have to risk getting hit himself. So yeah, Teju's looking really good right now. That being said, we do we've already seen that at times Teju's can struggle to kill. First stock was absolutely an example of that, so mm. Yeah, Hydra's trying to get these, these Nair confirms here real quick. Throwing off uh, Tejus' anti-airs. If they're trying to go for some. Yeah. Hydra pretty eager to actually punish Tejus while he's in the corner, but he has to be careful. Side B off of ledge is a really good option that, you know, can turn any... Oh, they pull. turned around. That was unfortunate. I think they went to grab them there. This could be oh, a free edge be... guard. Oh, they oh. hit him right off of it. What um, happened to you? I don't know. Uh, sister knocks the controller out of his hands. <laughs> yeah, I, I assume so. That that sucks. <laughs> but that's always what it is. Whenever anybody has like a weird SD like that, it's just like. Mom said I could have the TV. <laughs> oh, it's like, get off League, please. <laughs> I have to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> I have to play Check Plants vs Zombies. Check out some villagers, man. Come on. Anyway, so now we do have actual even <laughs> stocks between these two, but a lot more damage onto Hydra. That being said, we've seen just the devastating kill power that Hydra has at his disposal when the right move connects. Speaking of the right move connecting right there, back air sniping his jump, and that's going to be it for game one. Tejus, so far looking pretty good here. I think, do you think we're going to see a switch off of Ike? It could feels be, like Ike really got sort of caught in these vortexes that if, for instance, he was going Palutena, I feel like he would not have to deal with. You know what true, I mean? True, true. It's, it's hard for Ike to get out of uh, Bayo's vortex, I feel. Uh, same time, that, that was still pretty close. Yeah. Also, the recovery aspect. Stock I felt was. like he was having a difficult time recovering. He would often take damage. I think first stock, he got back in for side B. Second stock, got forward smashed. So... Yeah, if he's going to up B, he's got to do it lower. 
super, super, especially near the ledge when, when Bayonetta's feet are on the ground. They want to um, get caught. How does Bayo down here. smash interact in that regard? I think she probably gets clipped before it comes out. Depends mm -hmm. on when she does it. Like she avoids the initial like upswing of the up B. She'll probably get away with it. This is all right. Uh, solid tech chasing with the there from Tejus. He's committed. Nope, we see that we see the counter pick. Oh, Palutena wait. is going to be coming out, so we will I'll be having Palutena versus Bayonetta now. And I feel like this matchup very different than the one we just saw. Oh, we're going to see something else here. See now, with Palutena, they have the tools to outbox, if not beat this character. So, <laughs> Teju still no yeah. slouch. Oh, Able already to play the neutral lane. Much more defensively, we see a lot of shield coming out from him. Earlier on, you know, when he was playing Ike, he was throwing out a lot of aerials, trying to wall out with Nair. This time around, it's a mobile wall, but it's instead of it being a wall with knives. Okay. It's oh. like, what know, happened to you? I, it's my turn to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> that's that's what it is. It's like, is someone telling you the juice is ready and you're just trying to get up and go get it? Like, <laughs> what happened? We'll, we'll so let her rock. Like it's only, it's only game two. You can't play with one hand, and he's like, "Oh, oh no, 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 it's not, it's not gonna alive. happen again." Oh, oh he's not alive at all. I, I think he could have died. I think we're moving on the game three. <laughs> this looks like curtains in the situation. Tejus, all the work they got to put in, got to make all the hits count here. Those are two big mistakes to make, like right off the the side platform, uh, the side uh, of the big platform here. Yet again, in the situation, okay. Hydra always going for those explosive flames and defense on, on the recovery. She doesn't always do it, too. Yeah. It's like, why not? Like, I'm going to just throw a flame right here just to stop you from edgeguarding me. So, I don't want you in at all. I do feel like <laughs> there maybe isn't so much we can glean uh, in terms of how this matchup is going to go for the rest of the set, considering how brutal, you know, yeah, the first really stock two stocks, two stocks <laughs> lost within a minute. See, here's the question. Same. If you are down by this much and you know you won game one, you have other games to work with, do you purposefully play bad to condition your opponent to thinking you're worse than you are? Oh, that's a, that's, that's, yeah, that's a, that's a way to throw, uh, just like throw out, like, here. always do the same get up option, you know, start playing, like, showing off panic options that you don't actually, are, like, you're not going to be doing later. That multi-game yeah, like, conditioning, yeah, <laughs> like start like just holding forward, start hitting buttons, start doing the same get up every time. Maybe like if they're not punishing you or killing you for it, why not? It's, it's a good way to to get inside the head of your opponent. Oh, this... And it's also yeah, this so, was insane. that yeah. jab was actually really smart. Yeah, it was because just put a stop to the recovery there, send her straight down. In the perfect spot for him just to yeah, get off stage into and it. Go. Oh, when he buffered the forward air, that's what happened. Yeah. And then... Boom. And... South. And he was also... Actually, because he used the side beam, bounced off, he was pretty far from the stage. So even if he did get that... if he, Even if he did manage to attack, I don't know if that would have... Uh, he would have been able to make it back. Oh, that, that was, was pretty stuff. low. But anyway. Yeah, let's see what... Uh... What Tejus can do to not have that happen again. See, well, that was you lock the pick door and, and make sure that nobody can go into the room. Yeah, exactly. Just lock the Animal Crossing in the room, too. <laughs> Alright, FD. Good choice, good choice. Nowhere to run the zone. Blocking the initial exchange of the auto reticles. Amazing some, uh, projectile to throw out mid state. Hydra right now. Yeah, look at this. Like doing the run up shield, basically just trying to take space, which is honestly quite a call out. I mean, Bayo doesn't necessarily get the most off of grabs, but she still has a solid dash grab. So, you know, if ba if if uh, Palutena is going to be just running up shielding every time, yeah. I feel like that's the sort of thing that, at the very least, you should punish a little bit, make him Close those scared to do it. Closing the gap with the neutral B, and then jumping right in with those, those nares. Meaty enough to hit him on the spot dodge. Taking advantage of the stage once they get it. Oh, but they have to watch this bat within. They're not... Okay. Okay, he's not getting much from it, but getting positioning is also nice, too. All right. 
the weak spot on the back here. Not going to be sending Hydra too far off stage. And now this is neck and neck in percent. You know, without a very early stock loss like we saw last game, these two are, it seems, evenly matched. The question is who's going to take this first stock because I do think that's going to be quite impactful, especially based on how defensive Hydra has been. Nice. Oh, nice yeah. Now he doesn't have the ability to just play super patient and uh, force the approaches anymore. It's on him to actually make the stock disappear. And that's also amazing stalling there from Tejus just to avoid the angel platform invincibility. <gasps> the... She did. Oh, oh, I think she was dead initially. Jump. I would have just dropped that she was. She she bounced off that stage clean too. But it's still good to prioritize your stocks though. So I don't I, I don't I don't mind that decision that Tejus did to potentially save Hydra there. But yeah. Those are moments that are hard to spot in this, in this game. Oh, what a catch! Ooh. You ain't grabbing that ledge. It's my ledge. My toes are there. Oh. Scoops with the down tilt. Giant in the horrifying toes. So lady, please. Oh. Get your feet off the stage. Wow. Okay, didn't you? Oh, the reflect. Oh. <laughs> you forget she has that. How broken is that? How is your counter a freaking like reflector? Like, how do you give okay. that to somebody? Okay, here's the thing though. Okay, if your counter is reflector, yet we very rarely see it. I know. It's just like just thinking about it, like on a on a on paper type type thing to have. It's so Can good. Can you imagine if it also had that thing where it beat out shields? Oh, Jesus. Or or just has like a like a hitbox like like late like Sephiroth like Scintilla. It would have it all at that point. She's she's literally god. <laughs> Goddess mode, you know. Tenya. Trying to two frame with these down tilts. Catching them. Nowhere to go. <gasps> that was so good. The flame to catch the late air dodge. Okay. Oh. That was the workings of a comeback, but still a lot that needs to be done here 114 percent bayonetta can struggle to kill so oh but as we're seeing yeah oh tejus is out for blood right now really just moving back and forth with this shield looking for up smash looking for a big kill mm. oh but he overextends with that side b and now he's once again trapped in the corner that was a clean raw dare bear right there yeah, even if he bat within that downer, he does still take oh, damage. Oh, what? Dead? Okay. He's just a barely alive. Using all their upbeat tools just to get back. Oh, oh bat within. I think saving Tejus' skin Shut right there. Here. First the backer wins. Tejus does right. a, yeah. a commit that, to that the That almost, almost did not work out. I wonder, how did he uh, DI that down smash? Um... Yeah, I gotta see that he again. Kind of did like if you, if you Bermuda it. Triangle DI, but I think it worked out for him because you know if you're Bayo, you can recover uh, from no matter how low. The recovery off the explosive flame just got them killed. Like I think they were banking on Tejus committing to not doing anything and just you know just being pussy, just being like I'm not gonna do anything. I'm scared. I don't want to approach. You know the, the last seconds of neutral where you're just like oh I'm gonna block. Oh. Yeah, and honestly, he was playing extremely patient and defensive up to that point. But then no, he, he was talking the about the jump. DI off the down smash from earlier. Definitely, if you clip that. Yeah. It's all good. Even with, like, the correct DI, that was 100% going to kill with that rage and the, the tipper of it. That big platinum hitting you in the dome. This is just pulls into the whole... Banana platinum just on your head. Just look how big that move is. It just kills. Very threatening to throw out, too. Oh my god, what a catch. That catch is insane. She's like, oh, step on me. Yeah, Teju was looking mighty clean those that, that last game. Taking it to FD was a good choice on their part because they were just like, all right, we're going to scrap here on FD. Nowhere for you to go. That means <laughs> whatever I throw out here or, or there is going to be hard for you to. To escape from because there's no platforms there to save you likewise there for, for hydra though but it's just like 
God forbid you do anything mid range that does like a lot of recovery. Like that that explosive flame right there is to get myself is to get yourself killed. Gotta go fast. So a little, yeah, so a little safer neutral needs to be played there on Hydra's part in order to secure the bag here. They may be down in games here, but they're not down in sets because they need to win one set simply just in order to take the Xeno win. Tejus has to win two. Tejus doing a good job here taking... Ooh. Okay, that's damage. a lot of damage, but did not actually... No, that was so close to really ending it all. Oh! But even more damage, and still, Hydra's yet to find a single hit, it feels. Oh, yes, to build up all the damage of the guns, chip at her. Yeah, this Bandit was, uh... Dredge. This was Hydra's counter right? Yes, this is Hydra's counter pick, because they just... Well, it has one more left in the set. They haven't I'm, lose this one. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised by that. I mean, already we see that those slants help Bayonetta with her guns. Also, the side, you know, she can cling to it and ex you know, make her recover even harder to punish. Yeah, this but, is a I triplat mean, too, so... Yeah, that is, that is true. You know, Palutena does get quite a lot off of triplats. Although we haven't really seen a lot of, you know, Palu combos. The fact that Bayonetta has Bat Within means that, at the very least, it seems that uh, Hydro has to respect it. Oh my god. Is oh, the triple fair, no rage. It's a lot of damage being done. Next clean hit here from Tejus is going to take the stock. Yeah, okay. Nice but delay. Nice. But yeah. I just going to cover that. Their patience. Oh, they're in so much recovery. This back that I was going to take. No, two. <sighs> nice. Simply waiting for them. Hit that back air out of shield. Ooh. You know, it's going to be back air is going to kill there. Still looking pretty to get for Teju style. How's he actually yeah. going to clean off this stock? We've seen that at times he can struggle. Oh, trying to space around the shield. Finding that one good hit. Nice. There it is. All the way at the top. Up air at 150. Yeah, that will certainly kill. And now this is just one more. Pretty much an entire stock. It looks like Tejus is about to lap him and about to reset the bracket. Yeah. And Tejus has never won a Xeno Wi Fi before. So, <laughs> perhaps he's invigorated just by that possibility, that dream finally coming true. This is the dream at work right now. Bring him all the way oh! up to the top. Is that enough? It oh, is. to the moon! Wow! To all right, the that's. Moon! What a way to reset the bracket. Things, everyone, it's all back to 0-0. Zero, zero, and whoever takes it next, that's going to be it. That's going to be Xeno Y562 champion. Amazing stuff there from, from Tejus. Taking advantage of wherever Hydra decided to bring them for these counter picks. It's just like going, oh, your counter pick? My counter pick. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a feeling that Hydra's not going to be counter picking to... Uh, Try flats anytime soon. Yeah, maybe, no, maybe, no. maybe. I mean, maybe battlefield, but not Yoshi's. Uh, it yeah. felt like that sage was just used so, so well by Tejus. But in general, I will say Tejus really, really uses uh, the tri plats. So probably battlefield. Maybe I know that Palutena can as well, but feels like Tejus had absolute run of this stage. Now, on Tejus's end. Um... I guess the stage to avoid could be Kalos, but I want to just throw that that Kalos game as a, as a, just a outside interference coming in just to mess with some Tejus. It was probably fine on any stage, really. Yeah. Yeah. Take him to Lilat even. Just throw him off. <laughs> but I yeah, like Lilat's pretty good for Bayo though, right? I mean, first of all, she has the guns. The slants, the slants yeah, help her it's out. true. Uh, it's all a hard choice to make. Shenanigans. Like if if anything, Pyro Hydro would want to just like stick with PS2. Kyle's yeah, I think, yeah, PS2 is probably the best. Town, player. even, town. Oh, yeah, 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 possibly town. Although, I've seen Tejus go town and be perfectly fine there. Yeah. <sighs> it's really hard counterpicking Bayonetta. Yeah, it is. Because like, it, it feels is. like every stage she can do a, a certain thing. Um, she can, like, a, it feels like she can abuse most of, like, an aspect of most stages. Uh, so then I guess it really comes down to the player, you know, like... I think that triplats something you want to avoid, just considering the fact that you have seen, you have bore, born witness. 
to uh, the way Tejus can use those tri platforms in order to have you either do 70, 80 percent or that last stock just outright kill. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's very hard to call here. Yeah, Tejus also able to scrap on a stage like FD, like as we saw previously, was also pretty good too. Like you could probably gamble like trying to punish Bayonetta like as well as you can on FD. It, that it was, FD it's game a, was pretty close though. I think it, it, was, it was insanely close. Seen, so yeah. I think it's definitely worth City. considering going back there, mm -hmm. either there or Kalos. Smash real baby. I don't know. Like it's. It's hard to call. Stages are, are an insane part of as to why Smash is so crazy and like potentially anyone's game when it comes to people of like evenish. Legalize uh, Mushroom Kingdom, you. <laughs> Bring back a uh, uh, well, Orbital Gate. Me? You know the one from Smash 4. The Star Fox Assault stage. You you know that one, right? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, po the, the poke floats. Orbital one, Gate know. Assault. Yes, that's the I coolest stage in Smash Three. I think the developers I don't give, spent I don't... like weeks making that. Yes, and I feel and it's not terrible. Bad. Like, <laughs> I'm just like I am so sorry. I don't know who said you should have done that, but. <laughs> Three, two, one, Tom, they wasted the time. Put a put a stage like Great Cave Offensive in to defend my eyes. Anyway, true finals. <laughs> FD, as yep. we discussed earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank hey, you, Tilde, for the, the raid. raid. Love to see it. Shouts to Tilde. Yeah, so Best Falcon. for those of you joining just now, this is Xeno Wi-Fi 62 True Finals. We just had Teju set. Uh, we set the bracket after Hydro had honestly like a pretty dis like decisive run through winners. So. I mean, all right, things are looking pretty good for Hydro this time around. For the most part, I'd say this is the biggest lead we've seen, barring game two, which we don't talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah game So two perhaps he figured out what he needs to be doing. Well, let's see if he can actually close the stock off, because as we've seen, Tejuice can do some amazing things if you give him the chance. Yeah, good on Hydro to not continuously do the neutral B side B game that they were doing in the previous time they were here. And sticking close to their buttons, going for these drag downs here. Put the yeah. pressure on Tejus more than Tejus putting the pressure on them. Has him in the corner. <gasps> oh, oh, that was rough. Ooh. That was rough. I mean, I guess that hitbox sends you up. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it looked like he sent himself on the, onto the stage and just around the world or... it looked weird but yeah that was good Ooh. safe pressure there from hydra in order to secure that stock going for two frames here two frames all right yeah the, i think that fd was absolutely the right call here the the way that hydra is abusing the stage control right now it's just that's where he's getting all this damage trapped at the corner and Bayo is a character that can usually get out of the corner but right now it feels almost impossible every option reacted Ooh. to every single thing that you know every mix-up accounted for oh with the other next not gonna kill even in percentage right now but more so on hydra's side here is the advantage is built up from having the stocks simply turn to two frame yeah, it's really rougher for Tejus right now. This is looking a lot more different because of how different Hydra's uh, game plan is in this this match on FD it's compared to the last one. Yeah. It's like they're realizing that they can just jump in with Nair, cover a lot of uh, space. Oh, oh, that dash attack, if that had connected, it would have killed. Oh, oh right, double interesting, side interesting. beat a back air. Interesting way to finish him off, but... I mean, it works, and now at least the game plan has changed for Tejus. He's probably just looking for, you know, one of his combo starters, which, I mean, if you're Bayo, it feels like half of her moves are combo starters. So the neutral is going to be a lot trickier for uh, Hydra to effectively play oh, around. Oh, but... They're, so, they're doing their best just to try to avoid it, too, but it's just, this covers so much when you're when you're at mid-range with it. Yeah, yeah. It's like he, and the fact it can catch a landing. 
That jumping in the air is just an inherent mm. risk. Also having to switch up your recovery timing too. Oh my god, you can't even air dodge? So rough to deal with. Oh, that caught it Ooh. so late? Oh, yeah. You can charge, not, you can just charge smash moves forever. Yeah, yes. Not respecting the fact that that beam of light, it is, it's basically a lightsaber, you know? Yeah. It just stays out there forever and slices you as soon as you walk into it. Damn, that was rough. But yeah, a lot more different than last time. Hydro was on point that game. It covered so many of Tage's, Tage's defensive options and just ran with it. Yeah, it, it felt like really managed to abuse stage control in a way that we had not seen in that first set of grand finals. God. So I think that FD is a no-go. No if you are now Tejusu, you cannot go back to FD. So the question is, what stages are available to you? I agree with this. We saw what happened this in set so one when uh, it was actually Hydra who took Tejus to this stage. And that was just an absolute slaughter. So let's see if they can get a repeat performance. I think that having ledges available at the very least is going to make uh, getting off the ledge, you know, just more options might make it easier. So we'll see. Yeah, it's, it's going to be like a, a war of counter picks at this point, I feel. As long as Tejus can avoid going back to FD again, this could be uh, like a fightable set. To I, I can't make this run back and break it all the way, all the way from losers in order to reset the bracket here and take a Xeno Wi-Fi. But Hydra, it's not going to give it to them as easily. Their follow-ups are still there. Their two frames are on point. That was insane pressure. Yeah, still piloting. Oh, even. oh, that's a huge witch time. Actually nice. Gets there yeah, in time for the forward smash. That's a massive, massive pickup for Tejus. Let's see how he's. We haven't seen him play with a lead for a while. Let's see how he actually what he does with it. Yeah, most bayonets I see when they're in like mid range neutral and they just like no character is going like shield drop soon. They just go for the side B. I'm liking that Tejus is going for those down tilt uh charge guns in order to poke their way in. Instead of just backing on the side beat to go for a quick combo here or there. Or probably potentially throw the stocks away. That bat within is saving lives. Oh, what a good crouch. Yeah. That was such a good crouch. And we're seeing that. Okay, finally manages to take the stock with that side beat. We've seen a lot of stock taking the side beat. Yeah. Um, All reliable. Oh, oh wow. yeah. But at the same time, I will say, one of, it feels like one of the reasons why Hydra takes so much damage. Uh, it, you know, once Tejus gets a stock lead, is that he oh, starts throwing out a lot of his kill moves because Palutena does have a lot of safe kill moves you can just kind of throw out. But pretty reliably, Tejus is there to punish it. And once Bayo gets in and gets the lightest of love taps, just she can take him for a ride. Hide yourself relying on those on those nares. Finally gets punished for them and dies. They're doing a lot of work in those previous games, but. Tejus is not all like ready for them. They're, they're seeing them coming and just like holding block whenever they they, they notice Hydra approaching. So Hydra has to poke their way in with a different tool here. Probably reposition themselves to these little short hops. Okay. There's a Nair. It'd be a little too late though as Tejus is getting these combos in. Oh! It's always good to have the positioning, at least. But having a wall there allows for Bayonetta to delay their recovery and, and just stall as much as they can. Ooh. Switch up the strategy. Make the edge guard not as easy for them. Smash. Really, really rough for Hydra. He's now <laughs> taking 108%. <laughs> this is his last stock here, so oh. no more room for error. Up tilt back here near the ledge can probably yeah. do it. Ah, oh, but he finds the grab. Roll behind grab. Another old faithful. And now yeah. we have last stock for each of these players. And we definitely have seen Hydra be able to make some solid comebacks. Uh, mainly with just consistent oh. play. He doesn't necessarily need to do some crazy combo that ends in a spike off stage. No, it's just good neutral for like 30, like, like about a minute and a half. 
And, you know, if he does that, then it's an even game <gasps> once more. That's almost a Becker there. All of these whiffs from Tejus and those air dodges are getting covered. Oh, Ooh. catches them on the air dodge in. Tejus commits to it and dies so easily. Hydra's in their head. Yeah, and that was just... I mean, yes, it ended with that really good read, but for the most part, that was just good play from Hydra. I mean, Super salt. set one is is a is a memory. It is, you know, might as well be, you know, in a photo album <laughs> underneath his cabinet because he does not, it is not affecting him at all. Managing to get that comeback going up 2-0 in true finals here. Tejus, after playing so hard, making a really great loser's run, he, and resetting the bracket, he might meet his end here. He needs to change. He needs to adapt. Otherwise, this is just, you know, I'm just going to take it and end up as Xeno 62 champion. Yeah. Seeing both players leave the arena for a stage change real quick. Um, Ted just has, has the habit, though, of like getting two frame, but then like air dodging in after they get two framed. Uh, I, I've noticed yeah. that in, in their set against Jay Grunt. Yeah. They did it like... Like that one time and got killed for it, and it happened again here. Uh, it's not like a like a really noticeable habit, habit but it's just like, but seeing it's like, it happen more than once is just like, all it's, right. It's, it's something that it, it's once it becomes one sided, it's a habit that comes out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like against it's Jane one of those rare ones. Yeah. Crazy string where he got carried away. Ooh, from that, was, that was and, that was death. If that upper lander right there, that was death. Very possibly, but we do have Teju staying alive here. Taking about 74%. Not looking so hot for him. He isn't, isn't able to find that one good opening. All of these tiny little projectiles, all of these aerials coming out at the most inopportune times for him. Yes, still not able to find a single hit. Good neutral from Hydro. That's all this is. They're mixing up what they're doing with their approaches and they're getting the two frames and confirming off of it. Hydra is set to take this and become our Xeno champion today. The oh, Nair Train, all oh, the least damage. At him once, okay. Thank you, it, it begins now. <laughs> Stock all down, right, okay. It's, it's Hit him 17 now. more times, Wait. why not? Okay. Never why mind. not? Hold on a second. 94%, he's almost dead. <laughs> it's cool to see Bayonetta remind us that she's still that, you know, that witch <laughs> from here and there. The Whenever slow she gets walk. Hits. All right. Even after <laughs> oh! that, that, even after that, just like brutal start, Tejus yeah. is kind of feeling oh! himself. He's, he's not. He's not letting it get to him. Oh, the oh. back off the down throw. This is looking curtains. All right. That that confidence might have been a little bit misplaced. Yeah. Managed to do some really nice work with that combo, but he still is yet to take this first stock from Hydra. It was coming out again. Hydra doing all the damage they can. Can be as fearless as they want. They're up three stocks. They're up two stocks. <laughs> the game is just handed to them at this point. As long as they can just play safe. And count on any mistake that Tejus makes and punish accordingly. This is, this is rough. I still, res I still respect Tejus as neutral, though. Neutral is very key to, to have as a character who's combo heavy as Bane that is. And oh, how hard it is to, just to get a hit of her. Oh, what a tech. Tech's at that time, yeah. yeah. Earlier on, he died from that. But, I mean, that tech was really cool, but <laughs> 108% hasn't really been able to up so much. touch Hydra. Okay, well, here come the touches. <gasps> oh, okay. They need to get that read there in order to take this quick talk. But they got right out of the hit stun and back air for the win. Your champion. Was that an up B cancel? Hydra. Yeah, Hydra's uh, uh, pretty good at getting those. Let's see if he did it here. Let's take this. Let me take a look at this again. Here, Dodge is in. Uh, yeah. Up yeah, B they, yeah, it was. That, was. that was such a good option. Just getting right past him, knowing exactly where he was so in order tricky to get too, the left like... cancel. Look at that. That was actually so clean. Yeah. Mm. Hydra. This is the sort of Hydra that we had been seeing earlier on in the tournament. Able to just, you know, Tejus had done a fantastic run, had put up some really, really good results tonight. But you need to take two sets. <laughs> you need to take two sets if you want to actually take the whole tournament.
Yeah. Um, and that. just was not able to have a repeat performance for that second set.